Hey guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Milk Fed by Melissa Brote. This is a pretty short novel, or at least one that reads really, really fast, in which we follow our main character, Rachel, who is struggling with her life, both with herself and her perception of herself and her body, as well as with her relationship with her mom. The novel follows Rachel as she starts spiraling down into some sort of eating disorder. She is obsessed with the way she looks. She, she spends her days controlling everything she eats, the amount of calories she eats and all of that until one day she goes to this place where she usually gets her ice creams and meets this other woman who has a body completely different to hers and who seems to be obsessed with feeding her. She constantly offers her to give her some toppings in her ice cream to, to try some other flavors until one day she finally says yes. The novel develops as these two women begin to become friends and as Rachel starts to feel more than friendship for his woman as a bisexual, she starts to feel a sexual attraction for her and she begins to have dreams of being with her, of having sex with her and of forming a relationship in general. Moreover, these two women are also Jewish, so they share a religion even though our main character doesn't really stick to her religious principles but Rachel does, despite she's saying all the time that he is a bad Jew. The novel shows how our main character Rachel begins to improve her relationship with herself, her body and her eating habits as her friendship slash relationship begins to develop, I say slash because we don't really get to know how this other woman Miriam feels for Rachel through the novel. It's clear that he loves her but some things happen at the end that really make the relationship not be as our main character expects. The book shows how, how important love and affection is in order to heal from past trauma and wounds. It's a novel that I think it's very interesting in its depiction of fascination of sexuality and of embracing one's desires. It's a novel that is very unhinged if you've read and enjoyed books like My Year of Western Relaxation or Acts of Desperation, both of which I have reviews of up on my channel. You will most likely enjoy this one. It follows similar topics. We have this woman who's struggling and who appears to want more from people as the main character in Acts of Desperation. This is a novel that doesn't shy away from showing some scenes that might be seen as taboo by some readers. There are scenes that depict masturbation, that depict a show scenes in which our main character is craving for pleasure from sexual desire and it's a novel that I overall really, really enjoyed. When it comes to the writing style, it is, as I have said, a very simple, easy to read book. It's a book in which the chapters are very short, so the book goes by really, really fast. And it's also a book that is pretty hooking. It's a book that you want to keep on reading because you want to know what's going to happen, you want to know how this character's relationship is going to develop and you also want to know how things are going to end up for Rachel since midway through the novel she starts to spiral down again into her disorder. This is a book that, as I have already hinted at, discusses some heavy themes such as eating disorders or mental disorders such as depression. This is a book in which 
Seeking Help is refused by our main character at the beginning of the novel and uh, it's a book in which we follow this character who might be a bit unlikable for some people. She seems she is not the nicest person to be honest. The book also deals with conflicts between families. We get told many many times in the novel that our main character doesn't speak to her mom and her relationship with her, with her dad is also not the best. So it also deals with complex family relationships and how they might affect someone's life as well as how one's past and one's family can affect the way they are now since it is hinted at multiple times that our main character struggles with food, with body image, come all from her mom. The book is also pretty relatable when it comes to readers in her 20s. It's a book that speaks to contemporary society. Young people who are struggling during their 20s, it's a book that discusses misery when it comes to feelings and when it comes to work situations. We get to see how our main character's work is not the best but how she had to cope with it. It's a book that really features this passion that our main character feels and how she kind of rejects it. And it's overall a book that I think has a cute, if I dare say, name that it's cute message of how can get better because of acceptance and how that acceptance can be gained for something as cute and as sweet as uh, building a new relationship, whether it's romantic or platonic. So overall, would I recommend Nick Fed? I would say yes. It's a book that as I have said, it's pretty unhinged. It features some topics that might not be for everyone. It's also a book that might be triggering if you if you struggle or are currently struggling with similar things as our main character. It's a book that really shows how one person is not the best ever. Like, our main character is clearly unlikable at some point in the book. And it's also a book that really shows the dichotomy that goes into someone's brain when they are disordered. Because it's clear in here how, despite her struggling with her own body, she isn't inherently fatphobic. Or if she is, she is in a way that feels really true to how it happens in real life. I don't know how to fully explain it, but you will see if you read the book. It's a book that also doesn't shy away from showing scenes of passion, of desire, and who is clearly not censured when it comes to showing sex scenes or masturbation scenes. Overall, I think it's a great book. It's one that I would recommend. I gave it four stars, and I think that it has some relatable quotes that that we can easily as readers see ourselves reflected in. I will try to look for one to say as an example, but I don't know if I will be able to find it. For instance, we have this quote which I underlined because it was relatable. What did it mean to love something so much and also be wrong about it? What did it mean to love a version of something that might not really exist? Not as you saw it. Did this negate the love? Was love still real? So as you can see, Quotes that are easily relatable, that you might end that, that you can easily relate to. Quotes that reflect upon love, upon feelings, and uh, upon one's perception of oneself that will easily resonate with you as a reader. If you have ever felt like this main character, or if you have ever found yourself in a similar situation to her. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've read Milk Fed or any other book by the author. I am aware that Melissa Brother is the author of the pieces, which was a really popular book on booktube a few years ago, so I will be interested in hearing your thoughts on that one as well, so I can see whether it's worth reading it or not. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I hope your day is amazing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!